So have you been wondering why your maintenance fee has been getting so high at Marriott's Grand Vista? I'm going to discuss a few reasons right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy and before we jump into these uh, few reasons why I think maintenance fees are getting pretty high here at Marriott's Grand Vista in Orlando, I just want to let you know on this channel I'd like to share some of my best timeshare strategies, tips and advice on how to help you get the most from your timeshare ownership. Okay, so let's get rolling. I am actually at the beautiful Marriott's Grand Vista in Orlando. Here you can see the, uh, the lake behind me. I'm actually in West Village and Main Village is across the bridge over here. Beautiful fountain behind me. And you can see the lighthouse here of Grand Vista. So I just want to discuss a few reasons why I think that maintenance fees are getting out of control. Now, some people may think this is kind of a negative video, and I guess you could say that, but also just wanted to uh, mention, last year our maintenance fees were almost $1,500. And when we bought in 2007, they were only a little over maybe $800, so it's kind of uh, getting pretty high, but there's three big things I noticed that they seem to like to spend money on some pet projects here at Grand Vista. So the first one I noticed is over in the uh, main village at the main pool, they have this big, huge media wall. Now, some people may think this stuff doesn't cost that much, but actually last year and a few years ago as well, I went to a Board of Directors budget meeting. So I have some actual numbers and information about the cost of some of these things. Now that media wall, it's basically a big jumbotron where they can play movies, do games, I guess, videos, whatever. It's over in the main pool area and it's pretty big. Uh, yeah, and I'm sure it costs quite a bit of money. I don't actually have the actual numbers on that, but I think it was probably, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of a over a hundred thousand dollars maybe a hundred fifty thousand dollars could have even been more than that I'm not too sure but that one I don't have the numbers on but uh, I know the board of directors did approve that and yeah so now we have this big monstrosity of a video wall over in the uh, main village okay so the next thing is the uh, tile flooring that they've been putting down on all the exterior breezeways and hallways here at Grand Vista at all the buildings They've done all of these sections so far, except for West Village, where I'm at. So, throwing some pictures up here. I know it might be a little bit difficult to uh, see the difference. The colors are essentially the same. And I'll admit, they look pretty spectacular. Definitely gives it a polished feel. But those, the numbers that I have from the budget meeting that I attended, was $4.2 million dollars. To do all of the buildings here at the resort. Uh, they did say that uh, it's a very paint intensive resort so this actually saved them some money on painting. I think they said they go through about $125,000 about $125, a year in painting. Though I don't know if that's just for those floors where they peel uh, or if it's the entire resort but that was $125,000 about $125,000 in painting um, per year being saved, potentially being saved, by this $4.2 million spend. Now I did some basic math, and if that $127,000 is saved every year just on painting the floors, which that's questionable, it would take 33 years for those floors to pay off. And that's not counting repairs that have to be done to those floors, or maybe those floors have to be replaced after 15, 20 years. I don't know what the lifespan is on those floors, but 33 years is a long time for a payoff they could have potentially maybe looked at some alternative flooring options here at Grand Vista, where we also own at Sheraton's Vasana Villages. They kind of have that spray-on textured flooring. Maybe that would have been cheaper than putting tile floors down in all of the hallways here. Okay, now the last one, and this one here is questionable maybe, but uh, maybe it saves us money. Maybe it costs us money. But they have these towel tracker machines here at Grand Vista now where essentially if you need a towel, you go up, you scan your key card, take out however many towels you need. Each towel has a little RFID chip in it and uh, it tracks what towels you take out. And then you need to make sure you return the towels when you're done or they charge you a fee. 
So uh, each of these machines cost 30 grand. So I counted, I believe there's six, two in West Village, two in Main Village, one at Golf uh, Village Pool, and one at Club Village Pool. So that's $180,000. Are we really saving $180,000 in towels? Question I ask. It's a good question. Maybe we are, maybe we aren't. Maybe we're making enough money in towels that aren't returned and charging whatever that fee is to pay for those machines. I'll be asking that if I go to the next board of directors budget meeting. So just some good questions to ask here of why our maintenance fees are seem to be going pretty high. I mean, add that all together, you have about maybe almost five million dollars, four, four and a half million dollars somewhere in that neighborhood. And uh, if you take that and divide it by all the week's ownerships here, I'm thinking there's maybe about 45,000 of those. You're talking about 100 bucks per ownership week. So I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but these little things, what I call pet projects, because they're not necessary to run the resort. And also consider each one of these Marriott Vacation Club gets a 10% management fee on top of that. So we won't say any more about that. But uh, yeah, so that is just kind of my thoughts on maintenance fees here. Obviously, it is a very expensive resort to operate. I understand that. But, okay, the media wall. That's all I gotta say. So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos about timeshare, check out the description box below. And also, if you wanna see another video about Marriott's Grand Vista, check out this one right up here. YouTube, they also think you'll like this one down here. Be sure to also subscribe, hit that notification bell, and remember, until next time, the best destination is always a timeshare.